I'm engaged in a now decade-long and continuing project to discover how or why it makes sense to speak of religion as existing or not at a given time and place. Wittgenstein has proven an increasingly consequential compagnon de route. I take Wittgenstein's philosophical investigations not so much as a work of academic philosophy, but as an attempt, in my view largely successful, to describe how language actually works, how human beings produce meaningful speech and writing. And although I won't be developing this tonight, I find one that is um, very, very uh, consequent with Bakhtin's uh, description of language as well, which says a lot to me because uh, as far as I know, they don't have any direct connection. The questions for me are, how can we better think what we mean when we say there was or is no religion within a given cultural form? Right? What does it mean to make that claim? A claim that is increasingly being made, not least by me, and at this point I'm trying to articulate for myself first, what does it mean to make such a claim? Right? What are the, um, how ought the, those thoughts help refiguring the human sciences? That's my small ambition. I offer, I hope, one small part of an answer to these big questions. So the first part is called Thinking with Wittgenstein. And I begin with a quotation from Wittgenstein, from the Philosophical Investigations. Philosophy must not interfere in any way with the actual use of language. So it can, in the end, only describe it. There are essentially two famous dicta of Wittgenstein's that have helped me the most with my philological investigations. The one having to do with meaning as usage, and the other with imagining a language as imagining a Lebensform, a form of life. I'll begin then by introducing these key avowals. The first key statement is, quote, for a large class of cases, though not for all, in which we employ the word meaning, it can be defined thus, the meaning of a word is its use in the language. This basic statement is what underlies the significance of Wittgenstein's contribution. A change from a conception of meaning as representation to a view which looks to use as the crux of the matter. A commentator on Wittgenstein has helpfully phrased it, traditional theories of meaning in the history of philosophy were intent on pointing to something exterior to the proposition which endows it with sense. This something could generally be located either in an objective space or inside the mind as mental representation. Rather, when investigating meaning, according to Wittgenstein, the researcher must look and see the variety of uses to which the word is put." End quote. Let us explore briefly some of the implications of Wittgenstein's remark. For one thing, within a living language, the uses of a given word are constantly expanding. Every new use adds nuance, shifts, and extends its meaning. Indeed, I would suggest that this is how the semantics of a language undergoes diachronic change. 